Have you ever dreamed of paying off your mortgage early? You know, just getting it done. It sounds like a fantastic financial goal, but what's the real bottom line cost? Today, we're going to break down all the numbers using a real life example to uncover the hidden fees and, let's be honest, the kind of complex math involved. So here's the question we're tackling. This is the exact situation a couple, the Berkowitz family, found themselves in. Now, on the surface, it seems simple enough, right? But as you're about to see, there's way more to it than just simple subtraction. Let's figure this thing out together. Okay, let's dive right in. To figure out the cost to end their loan early, we have to go all the way back to the beginning, the day they signed the papers. Every single detail in their original agreement is a crucial piece of the puzzle we need to solve. So here are the key facts. The principal, that's the total amount they borrowed, was 1.15 million shekels. The loan was for 20 years with payments due every quarter and the annual interest rate was a fixed 6%. These four numbers are the foundation for everything that comes next. All right, with those details in hand, the very first thing we have to figure out is the fixed payment the Berkowitz family was making every three months. This regular, predictable payment is really the cornerstone of the whole loan agreement. To get this right, we've got to stop thinking annually and start thinking quarterly. So that 20-year term, that becomes 80 separate payment periods. And the 6% annual interest, we just divide that by 4, which gives us 1.5% per quarter. Once we have those quarterly numbers, we can plug them into a standard financial formula to find that magic payment amount. And boom, there it is, 24,781 shekels. This is the amount the family paid, like clockwork, at the end of every single quarter. And remember, that number includes both a piece of the principal they borrowed and the interest they owed for that period. So, for 11 years, everything goes exactly to plan. The Berkowitz family makes 44 of these quarterly payments, no problem. But then, they decide they want to make a huge change. They want to pay off the entire rest of their loan, all at once. And this, my friends, is where things get really interesting. This timeline really puts it into perspective, doesn't it? They started at year zero. And now, here they are at year 11, ready to completely break from their original 20-year plan. They're just over halfway through, but they want to jump to the finish line nine years ahead of schedule. So let's look at what that actually means in terms of payments. Originally, they were on the hook for 80 total payments. Well, after 11 years, they've already made 44 of them. That leaves exactly 36 payments that they now want to take care of in one massive, single lump sum. Okay. Now we're getting to the real heart of the question. How much do they actually have to pay? Well, it's a two-step process. First, we have to figure out the actual outstanding loan balance, and second, we have to calculate the penalty for paying it all off early. So how do we find that remaining balance? Here's the tricky part. You can't just multiply their quarterly payment by the 36 payments left. Why? Because that number includes a ton of future interest they haven't actually been charged yet. Instead, we have to calculate something called the present value of those 36 future payments. It's basically asking, what is that future stream of money worth in today's dollars? And after we run the numbers through that present value formula, we get our answer. The remaining principal, the actual debt they still owe, is 685,448 shekels. That's the real chunk of the original loan that's still left. But wait. We're not done yet. Paying off that balance isn't the final step. See, most loan agreements have a clause, just like this one says, for an early repayment penalty. Now, why would they do that? Well, think about it. When you pay off a loan early, the bank loses out on all the future interest payments they were expecting to get from you. And in the Berkowitz's contract, it's spelled out pretty clearly. The fee is a straightforward 2% of the remaining principal, that big number we just calculated. This fee is designed to directly compensate the lender for that lost interest income. It's their way of making up for the change in plans. This chart makes the math super simple to see, right? You take that big bar on the left, the remaining principal, and you just calculate a tiny slice of it, just 2%, to find the final penalty fee, which is that smaller bar on the right. And that 2% comes out to 13,709 shekels. That is the fee. So the total cost for the couple to walk away from their mortgage is the remaining principal plus this fee. This is the true all-in cost of paying off their loan ahead of schedule. So what are the big lessons we can take away from the Berkowitz's journey? First, your fixed payments are part of a very carefully designed long-term equation. Second, the balance you owe isn't just a simple subtraction. 
It's tied to the value of your future payments today. And probably the most important one, expect a penalty for paying things off early. It's not a surprise, it's a standard part of the deal. You know, the Berkowitz's story is such a perfect case study for why understanding this stuff is so powerful. Paying off a mortgage early can be an amazing financial move, but it isn't always free. Being able to read the fine print and actually understand the math behind it, well, that's the key to making sure your smart financial decisions really do pay off in the long run.